evening ladies and gentlemen, I am the Sarcastic Barman and welcome to my channel. Just a quick little video here, because something needs addressing, and it's to do with this video. What you are about to see is a nurse receiving the vaccine live on camera, and then shortly after giving a press review, a press release, and then you will then see her faint in front of the cameras live, and she dies 8-10 to 10 hours later. She's 42, she's Caucasian, white, no previous major health issues, not fat, not this, not that, not the other. You're about to witness the death of somebody by vaccine. So the nurse in question is Tiffany Dover, and she had the COVID vaccine on the 17th of December, and about 17 minutes later, fainted on camera. Hopefully she's all right. All reports I can find says she's all right. Um, but I'd be interested to know of what sleeping warrior thinks is his evidence that she's actually dead. Obviously, that was not part of the script. It's very easy for me to sensationalise this, but the fact remains that she took the injection, short time later she fainted, a few hours later she died. Now, 42 she is, Caucasian female. She dies 8-10 to 10 hours after the, the vaccine. Now, let's think about this scientifically. Observe phenomena, healthy 42-year-old female. In, um, hypothesis, if this injection is safe, she could be injected and she will not suffer any adverse reactions. Hang on one goddamn minute. You're talking about scientific bits. So your first thing that you should have done scientifically is probably find out if Tiffany Dover is dead. That would be the first thing you really need to do, which I'm assuming you haven't probably bothered to do. The second thing would be to take that uh, Facebook post you're showing there and track its origins, find out where it came from, and possibly stumble across something like this. Magic. Now, if you have a look, that's the same Facebook post that uh, Sleeping Wankbag is using. Oh, except there's one little problem. That was posted on the 15th of December. So even with time zones and things like that, you could say 36 hours, maybe 48 hours, before Tiffany Dover had her injection. So unless fucking Big Pharma, if you want to go on that route, have got a time machine and sent her back in time to die before she had the vaccine, that would make no sense. And also... That original post is for a nurse in Alabama who didn't exist and didn't have a vaccine and also didn't fucking die. Anthony fucking wankbag shit-brained warrior, you, you are fucking useless. If you had two fucking brain cells, you would be dangerous. The fact you made this video and put it out there trying to say someone's died just shows you're an attention-seeking whore banking on the lives that ah oh, someone died i don't know who i'm doing no research because i don't know fucking how you are a waste of fucking oxygen for fuck's sake i just can put it out there i'm pretty sure this video needs reporting for anyone who hasn't reported it feel free go ahead i'm hoping that anthony warrior anthony warrior sleeping wank fucking shit brains We'll make a, uh, another video about this and go, oh, yeah, maybe she didn't die. Maybe I was wrong. But that would assume that he's got two brain cells to rub together and could think of going down that fucking route. Because he won't. And you won't, will you, Anthony? You'll just be a fucking dickhead about this. For fuck's sake, how useless do you have to be to connect something that happened two days and something that happened there and go, ha, look, yes, they're obviously connected. They're obviously two days and the time machines and all sorts of shit. No, you fucking dickhead. The fuck is wrong with you? Get the vaccine. Stop being a fucking knob. For fuck's sake. People like you put other people at risk who can't get the vaccine. For fuck's sake. No, just fucking no thank you very much good night